Good day students, I hope you're doing well. Um, this is probably going to be the, the shortest lesson we have done so far, but I think it's going to be a bit difficult, uh, the more difficult one, from beginner till whatever level you are. Um, it's a bit challenging, which I like because we've been practicing for this moment for the last three lessons with all the rudiments. Now it's time to put them to the test. So how's this, how this one is going to work is we played the parallel um, across two different, different sounds. Now we're going to take it to the hi-hat and the snare. Let me just adjust this. I already re uh, recorded this section. So it's at three different speeds. The, the 40, let me just make sure, 30, 40 and 50 BPM. So how this is going to work is you need to play that first BPM, 30, precisely. If you can't do it, don't move on. Stop the video until you can do it perfect. You'll see, I play the right hand on the hi-hat and the left hand on the snare. Simple paradiddle, the whole time. Um, so that's project one, to play that one um, across the different speeds. So get it nice and precise and then We'll go to part two after that. Okay, so if you watch this part of the video, then it means you can play the first part, um, which is good. Now, we need to add the foot on the first right of the paradiddle. So the whole thing is going to be foot with the right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Um, it's going to be here somewhere with a, with a, 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 I'm going to write it out so you can see, and then I'm going to make a dot where the foot should be. So you'll see on the first right, you play on the hi-hat, there's going to be a dot underneath. I'm going to note it like that. No notes, only right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, with the dot on the first right. So again, that's on the three different speeds, and then we're done. So it's a really short lesson, but I really need you to focus on that. Make sure you can play it, because it's difficult. Um, especially for the younger kids. It's, I don't know how long you have to practice it, but take it super slow and really make an effort to practice because if you can't play it by the time we get back here, your drumming is really going to be on another level because this is a complicated beat once you have it. Okay, see you next week.